Hi, my name's Trip Taylor, and today we're flying the R9 simulator, and we're going to be doing an aerial survey around this lake. We need to create a waypoint there so we can return into the same spot. So to do that in R9, we'll come to the left screen, and we'll go to the user waypoint tab, and we'll cursor with this knob over to this lake. And this is where we're going to be doing our work today. So we'll have the option to create a waypoint at the pointer. We'll go direct to that waypoint and proceed. And we're proceeding direct to our waypoint and we'll be doing our aerial survey there. As we're arriving into um, uh, our survey site, we need to do, fly over the area and we need to do our flying over the lake. So I'm going to zoom in the map. And what we're going to do so that we fly circuits over the lake is I'm going to actually create a hold over this waypoint. To do that, I'm going to go to the FMS tab. And I'm going to create a hold. And now we see this hold is below the lake, and we have the opportunity to edit that hold and put it around the lake. And that's what we'll do now. We'll do that by changing the direction of the hold. And we'll rotate the hold so that it corresponds to the general vicinity and shape of the lake. And now we'll be able to fly circuits over the lake. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.